Okay, so in my island update from over here in Magaluf, we're going to be talking about the end of the season over here in Mallorca. We're also going to be talking about when the season starts again for 2025. Plus, we're going to take a look at the weather forecast for the week ahead. Now, first of all, I have to point out that I'm not actually filming this on Monday the 28th of October, just because we are popping back to the UK for a few days. It's actually my daughter's half-term holidays, but we will be back during the course of the week. Also, I have to point out as well that um, in my video from Magaluf earlier on in the week, I did point out the, that the Food and Etta Cafe had closed for the season. To my surprise, when I came down here today, I've actually found it open, so it means I get one extra frappuccino in before the end of the season. I think it's probably going to close down on Sunday though, so by the time this video goes out, it may well have closed again, but then again, who knows. So the first item on my agenda today is to talk about the end of the holiday season over here in Mallorca. Now, here's the thing, because historically, the end of the summer season over here in Mallorca is normally on the 31st of October, and we see an island-wide shutdown in the resorts of the majority of the hotels and the bars and the restaurants. And it literally goes from one, one day to another. We have one day with lots of holiday makers over here. The next day, everyone's shipped off to the airport, and then the hotels and the bars and the restaurants do close down. However, we are seeing an influx of, of late breakers, of half-term holiday makers, of people coming into the island to enjoy a final summer holiday right on up to the end of the season and beyond. Because I had heard, and as is the case with my daughter as well, the half-term holiday, although she's at international school here, but there is a half-term holiday for many school kids over in the UK that runs on the final week of October. So that is from Sunday the 26th of October until the 3rd of November. Now, this means that if you have booked a holiday coming over here and you, you are here midweek when the season closes, you're going to find that some restaurants that will be open one day and then they're going to be completely closed down the next, which is kind of a little bit um, unusual actually if you're expecting a very late summer break just because of this, this end of season shutdown that we experience on the island. Now the schools, when they planned their half-term holidays, I'm pretty sure they didn't have the Mediterranean summer season in mind when they set their, their dates for their autumn half-term. And I'm sure many of you who are coming over here as well didn't expect it either, to find some things open and some things closed. And you can see how much of a demand that there is as well, because just taking a look at the EasyJet website, the flight website, you can see for flights going back to the UK on the weekend of the 3rd of November, there's just a few seats left. And I'm just looking at London here, flights back to London. Flights are going for £450, which is just incredible. And it just shows how much demand there is for holidays at this time of year. But also it shows that what a shame that the island has to almost close its doors to the holiday season on the 31st of October. Now, not everybody is going to be staying in the hotels around the island and uh, many people are going to be staying with either family or friends or they're coming over and staying in self-catering accommodation. And we do know that um, we do have quite, quite a bit or quite a lot of self-catering accommodation that will stay open over the winter too. But over here in Calvia, they've made the really bold move to try and extend the holiday season beyond the 31st of October into November, into in fact the middle of November as well. And if you saw my video on Friday, you'll see that many of the bars and restaurants over here are going to attempt to stay open until the middle of November. However, this is going to be purely dependent on a few things. The amount of trade that they get and also the weather too, which at this time of year, well, it's a little bit of a gamble to know if you're going to get um, endless sunshine if you're coming over here on holiday or you're going to, you're going to get bad weather. I mean, it could go either way. Also, at this time of year, as when we finish the holiday season, we also get many of the resorts starting their building works and renovations for the winter period. Well, you know that they were, they were quick off the mark down here in Magaluf with the, the, the renovations going on on Magaluf Beach, even before the end of the holiday season. They're just taking place around the holiday makers. Go and check out that video if you haven't seen it already. But we are seeing over in Palmanova quite a few family hotels attempting to stay open 
beyond the 31st of October and just some of those include, and I've, I've just had to write them down here because I can't remember them all, we've got the Sefiro Palace at Parmanova, we've got the Zell is staying open, the tent and also the Hotel Son Caliu Spa o Oasis which as you know is just a little bit further along from Parmanova in the little bay of uh, Son Caliu. Other adult only hotels staying open as well for some days into November include the Son Matisse Beach Hotel and the Globalis Santa Lucia. Of course we've got other hotels, I think some Fergus hotels may be staying open a little bit later too, um, I'm not too sure. But we are seeing the Calvia municipality trying to extend our holiday season into November, which is all very well and good, but really it only works if the businesses are also allowed to remain open too and for that to happen it has to be sustainable for them to do so so like i said the, the the factors the key factors here include the weather having good weather and also enough people in the resorts to allow allow these businesses to stay open but as we've been going through the month of october it does feel like this this whole island shutdown as we come towards the end of the season has been happening earlier this year in fact we had a post on the Mallorca under the sun of facebook group from the lovely elizabeth and she said is it my imagination or are things closing down earlier each october this year in son barlo we noticed that the shops bars and restaurants that were open last last year on the last week of the season were closing while we're here last week we struggle to get basics like toothpaste tonic water and tea bags Strange as our hotel doesn't close for the season until after the half term has ended on November the 3rd. I wouldn't like to be here for that week considering how much it costs in that half term week. Okay, so this is something I'm not happy about and I've, I mentioned it last year as well. It's almost like you're having a meal in the restaurant and, and people are, are taking the plate away from you before you've finished your meal. Same's happening in resorts. People are spending a lot of money coming over, particularly in half term week. And we're seeing businesses shutting down around them and, and restaurants closing. Now, the obvious reason for this is that it's just not financially viable for them to stay open and, and not having the volume of visitors coming through. But really, I think these municipalities and the councils need to work with the restaurants and the bars and the hotels and everyone should be working together to try and maintain some kind of season as well going on into the winter if that's what they want to do too but um, yeah it's it's not ideal especially when on that particular Facebook post Carla commented she said I thought Alcudia was busier last week when we came last year in late September especially the beach and there being so many kids so there is obviously demand over here for a late break and not to mention as well, keeping the resorts open a little bit later on in the season, it's going to spread the demand throughout the summer season. So we don't have this big concentration of, and, and saturation of holiday makers right in the middle of the summer. If everything stays open to allow people to spread their stay, then more people are going, going to be inclined to want to come over at the end of the season, maybe take a gamble with the weather. But um, as we can see to, today, over here at the end of October on Magaluf Beach, it's actually quite warm. And we've got highs today of around 21, 22 degrees degrees Celsius. In the shade as well it's very very hot and as I always say down here I'm absolutely roasting and I am once again today so that hasn't changed as we're heading towards the end of the season. Okay, so if you are coming over this week and this final week, you're going to experience basically summer and the winter season all in one week. If you're over here in Calvi, if you're staying in one of the hotels, you're going to also experience it because unfortunately I've been talking to a lot of the restauranters and they've said that it's quite unlikely that many are going to be able to stay open into November. Some will. Go and check out my Parmanova video if you want to find out what's open or what's going to be able to stay open over the course of the next few weeks going on into the winter season. But also check out a video about things to do in the winter as well. I'll drop a link to it below. It is an old video. It does need remaking. I made it early on in my uh, YouTube career, but the information in it is still very relevant too. It might give you some inspiration, particularly if you're over here with kids about things to see and do on the island when, um, when the resorts have closed. Don't forget to follow the channel too and check out my flight videos leaving Mallorca and also coming back into Mallorca at the end of the season as well. We're going to see what that's like. I'm going to bring you any other updates that I'm going to have from over at Palmer Airport. So, so just look out for those videos coming too. Which brings us on to my next question as to when do things open up for summer 2025? Well, this year in 2024, we had quite an early Easter, which meant that we saw an early opening in many of the resorts. We saw bars 
bars and restaurants and indeed some hotels opening up towards the end of March going on to, into the beginning of April and I think it's going to be pretty much the same again for 2025. I'm seeing a lot of hotels are opening from the 1st of April onwards but over here in Calvia I'm going to see an early opening of shops, restaurants and hotels from the middle of March onwards just like we had this year as well. So at this point I'm going to ask you to consider subscribing to the channel because if you're preparing for your holiday for next year I'm going to bring you all the latest updates that you need and all the information that you need to plan your holiday ahead for summer 2025 and also I'll bring you all the news from the resorts as well as we start to see the season opening up but that's not to say I'm not going to be continuing to make my island update videos every week I'm still going to bring you an island update I'm going to let you know what's going on particularly in terms of travel as well and winter travel in particular too from around the island and beyond as well so subscribe to the channel hit the notifications bell and don't miss those updates also as well I'm going to be bringing you plenty of sunshine and summer sunshine to take you through the cold dark winter months I've got plenty of holiday guides to come out I've also got some hotel reviews some other travel tip videos too as well to come out over the season as well as my winter walks and everything you need to know about Christmas in Mallorca too plus a little bit of living in Mallorca content as well and some other other styles of content as well just to bring some sunshine into your homes this winter so keep following the channel even though it's not going to be peak holiday season Mallorca under the sun is still going to be very active as we go on through the winter okay so let's take a look at the weather forecast for the week ahead now if you've been following social media or you've been looking at the news you will have seen that that the weekend has brought some storms and rain to the island but is this going to go on through the week beginning the 28th of October but it does look like we're going to be having a rainy and cool start to the week for the first two days of the week we're going to have further rain and storms but as we move on to Wednesday we're looking at increased sunshine and temperatures also warming up slightly as well which is going to bring a really nice sunny end to the end of the season it is going to be a little bit cooler than we've experienced over the past few weeks over here on the island because we have had absolutely amazing weather over here in Mallorca during October with a few rainy days as well but largely it has been wonderful but it looks like as we go on into the week that we are going to see some sunshine we're going to get some clouds as well and also the chance of a sporadic shower you can see the weather's going to be a little bit mixed we're going to have highs of around 27 28 degrees going on through the week we're going to get lows of around 14 degrees as well in the evening so if you're packing to come over for that late October early November break bring a mix of everything and pop an umbrella or a raincoat into your bag as well just to be on the safe side okay everyone thank you very much for watching I have to say as well I've been making these videos these Monday morning update videos from the Food and Essa cafe over here in Magaluf um, because it's been very hard to film these on the beaches because they have been so busy this summer I don't know where my where my winter island updates are going to come up come from with the Fusanetta Cafe eventually permanently closing up for the winter but we, we shall see hopefully I'll be able to go back to walking along the beach doing these as well but but we shall see we'll see how busy it is going on into November okay everyone thanks very much for watching I'm going to drop a couple of videos both here and here on YouTube as well to help you out with your holiday if you're coming over don't forget to check out my Mallorca in November video which is also going to be coming out soon or indeed it may well be out already if it is I'll, I'll drop the link below as well thanks very much for watching don't forget you can find me on the Facebook group and on my Instagram also called Mallorca under the sun and I look forward to seeing you on the next video goodbye for now